before I was really leading worship much at all. Uh, there was this competition in Northern California with Fox Television, and it was connected to American Idol. And American Idol, at that time, I think it was maybe in its second season or something. And my friends decided, without telling me, to sign me up for this singing competition that Fox was putting on. And the winner of this competition got a guaranteed audition for American Idol, for the producers of the show. And my friends are like, hey, Kim, you want to go to Chico and go shopping for the day and hang out? And I'm like, Psh, yeah, shopping, of course. And so we load in the car and we drive to Chico, this other town where the competition was being held. And instead of going to the mall, my friends drive to Fox television station where there is a line of people for days outside. And I'm like, what are we doing here? What is this? And my friends are like, surprise, we entered you in a singing competition. And I was like, what? And I'm like, I am not doing that. I was terrified. I didn't want to go sing in front of people, especially people I didn't know. I mean, that was terrifying. And I certainly didn't want to compete at that. I mean, I'm competitive, but I didn't want to compete doing that. I mean, that was scary. I mean, give me a game of Yahtzee or something and I'll be really excited. But competing, singing, no, no thank you. And my friends finally talk me into it. And I go in there like shaking like this. And I sing a song. I don't even know what I sang. I sang something. And long story short, I ended up winning the competition. So now, here I am. I've got this guaranteed audition for the producers of the show. And they're going to fly me and a friend out to Atlanta. Why Atlanta? I don't know. And we're, I was going to audition. And... All of a sudden, people all over the church, everywhere, somehow, somehow, everyone found out about this. And I was so embarrassed. And everyone's coming to me and they're like, Kim, the Lord said that you are going to win American Idol and you're going to take over the music industry for Jesus. Hallelujah. And I'm like, huh, okay. And suddenly I'm carrying the weight of the world on me as everyone's telling me these prophetic words that I'm going to somehow win American Idol and I'm going to somehow change the entire music industry and everybody in the world is going to get saved. And I'm like, wow, that, that's a lot of pressure on a girl who's terrified to be on a stage. And I remember afraid, I was afraid to tell people like, um, I, I don't want to do that. I'm really scared. I was afraid to tell people. I was afraid of disappointing them. And on the inside, I'm like, Jesus, help me. I'm like, I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't think I want to do this. And as I'm flying in the airplane with my friend to Atlanta, and I'm so nervous, and I'm pouring sweat from my hands, and I'm praying the whole way there. And I'm like, Jesus, I don't know what to do. And I felt Jesus say to me, if you want this, I'll give it to you. And I'm like, is this a test? Did, did, I, did I hear that right? And I, clear as day, I heard it again. If you want this, I'll give it to you. Now suddenly I'm like, okay, well this is a different kind of pressure. I need to figure out if I want this. What's, what's really in my heart? What do, I, what do I want? And I get there, and the way that they had it set up was there was a, a group of people like myself who'd won some other competition, and we were uh, allowed this audition, and they had us lined up one, two, three, and it was maybe about 20 or so rows back. And I was towards the end of the line. I was number two, standing in the middle, my favorite number. And they would call people up. The producers are sitting in front. There's a lady in the middle who is kind of like the main producer lady, I don't know. And this is how it went. They'd go, one, sing, thank you. Two, sing, thank you. Three, sing, thank you. No, no, yes. Next, that fast. They did not speak a word to anybody. There was no conversation happening. There was not, I'm going to be singing, blah, 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 blah for you. I mean, nothing like that. It was so quick. And I'm standing back there and I'm, you know, 
slowly moving up. And I'm, I'm going, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Do I want this? I don't know, I don't know. Do I want this? And I could not decide. And I'm like, Jesus, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And I still had not even decided what I was singing. And all of a sudden, and this is a part that I know sounds crazy, but this is just how it was. This is just what happened. Jesus says, if you sing this song, it'll put you through. And if you sing this song, you won't go through. What would you want? What do you want? And it wasn't like one was a bad song. They're both great songs, but it's just that one goes through and that one doesn't. And I'm sitting there going, oh, I don't know what to pick. I don't know what to, I don't know what to decide. And all of a sudden, my group's up and I'm standing there and it's like one, sing. And the moment she says two, sing, I made a split decision and I chose the song that wouldn't put me through. I sing the song, she goes to the next one. And then she says, one, no, three. She skips me, three, yes. And then she looks back at me and she goes, I just can't take you. And she has this confused look on her face. Like, I don't know why I'm saying this. And she's going like that at me. And I go, I know. And I walked off. 